Hello, it's Ruby, and today I have decided Can to vlog for the very first time. So I'm going. First time. <laughs> I'm going to be vlogging all weekend. So it's Friday at the moment, and we're just on our way home from school. Martha's got Savannah here with her. Say hello. <laughs> and uh, they're both going to go and get their ears pierced now. So that's just where we're going. home and it's about quarter past eight, half eight. It feels really weird to be getting home so late. So I'm going to try and get some homework done. I just, I want to just at least finish my philosophy essay tonight. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is order Ruby's Christmas present because I'm getting it online and I want to get it this evening. So then I've got practically all of my Christmas shopping done. I'm just going to write the finishing paragraph of my essay for philosophy because I did most of it last night but I didn't I just didn't get the conclusion done so I'm just going to write the conclusion so as you saw I just went out Christmas shopping and despite the fact that of course I was shopping for other people I did pick up a few things for myself as well the first thing is from Superdrug and it is this peach shine caring Nivea lip balm. Next thing is from Primark. Uh, I got some Maui and Sons coconut chips and if you haven't tried these, these are incredible. They are literally my favourite sweet snack of all time. Um, so the penultimate thing that I got was this Paper Chase 8GB um, USB stick and it's in the shape of a polar bear. It's so, so Christmassy. And then the very last thing that I got is this Dickens and Jones um, makeup toiletry pouch. And I just adore the print on this. It is so, so beautiful. It's very British. It I realised that today is focused pretty much entirely on shopping which is incredibly shallow for my very first vlog. I must admit that I'm fairly disappointed with my work output for today. I only managed to accomplish the end of my essay and I didn't make a start on any of the rest of my homework. I do know that this was because I was out on Friday night which usually I'm not, usually I spend the whole time working but I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow so that I can get a head start. I decided to end my evening with some quizlets so I added some new terms in for Spanish that I had learnt over the last week and then I just practiced all of my cards and also played the gravity game because I love it. It's so much fun. Good morning everybody. So I've just woken up and I'm just about to get started with work. I'm going to start with my chemistry paper. But first, I'll just show you what I'm wearing today. So, I'm wearing this flowy kind of top. And this is from Abercrombie Kids. I'm also wearing a pair of just normal road and black leggings. I've just finished my chemistry homework. And now I am getting started with my Spanish homework. I have got to research how Catholicism has influenced a South American country. I've just finished my Spanish homework. It's not very long. It's It was only meant to be 100 to 250 words. And mine is... 175. I'm a tiny bit over. <laughs> So I 
just made this poster, um, it's a kind of revision poster, so it's got everything on there that I need to revise for my Spanish test on Thursday. And I've also just made um, a Quizlet with around 120 words. So this is the Quizlet, and there are quite a few as you can see. My lovely mum has now agreed to test me on some more Spanish vocab. Uh, this is the stuff from my specification, and I didn't really want to put all of it into a Quizlet because some of the vocab is actually quite easy. Isolation app. Application. Boom. I just had a delicious lunch of lentil soup and garlic bread, and now I'm back at my desk and I am doing some more Spanish revision for my test on Thursday. So I've just gone over my formation of the four tenses that I need for this test, but at the moment I'm doing some practice questions on superlatives and comparatives. So I would say that I'm pretty much done with Spanish revision. I've just done one other piece of homework, it's not very much, it's just this little um, comparison between different characters in Pan's Labyrinth, which we're studying in Spanish. <laughs> finished doing my RS reading homework. I had to read a chapter of, um, about the ontological argument and then write some notes on it and it actually took quite a long time, it took me about an hour and a half to do. I am going to do some of my new Spanish grammar workbook which came on Thursday and I've been really excited to start doing some of the activities. So now we're going to go to a little Christmas market Okay, there we go. But Dad's coat <laughs> comes down in the meantime. Mum and I are down up to the nines because it is freezing. I'm pretty sure it's about two degrees Celsius at the moment. moment I'm using my new C pen to scan some RS revision notes and put them onto my computer so that then I can edit them and easily write up my deontology notes. Literally all you do is so I've done pretty much all of my notes for canteen ethics. Uh, it came to two pages, um, and again, as I said, I'm really impressed with the C pen. I might even do a review of it. So I'm in my pajamas, ready for bed. I've just finished doing some um, research for a philosophy article that my friend Natasha and I are writing. Now I'm watching a tiny bit of YouTube. So it's ten past eleven, and if you can't tell, I've had a shower. So now I'm just going to read some of my book because really that's how I end every evening, and I also need to write an entry in my diary. Good morning, I woke up maybe half an hour ago, but uh, before that I was reading in bed for a while. I'm wearing this uh, brown Agnes B cardigan, the Ted Baker flowery jumper top thing, and then I'm wearing my favourite Johnny Bowden skirt, and I'm also wearing this necklace which my friend Emily got me. I'm wearing something quite smart today because I'm going to a Chris Single, and actually I think I'm going to curl my hair for the service, um, but at the same time I'm going to listen to a CD so that I'm not wasting time. Sing and dance in your love. 
since I last spoke to you, I have done, well, I've curled my hair for one, pulled it, and I finished listening to the CD that Holly lent me. Um, I also did another few pages of deontology notes. Then we went on a short trip to go and get some chickens. A farmer very kindly agreed to give us three large chickens and so we just needed to go to the farm to collect them. And they were massive, literally absolutely huge and we had to have them in these boxes in the car. We're currently in the car to go to my cousin's birthday do. I've just been to um, a Chris Dingle, so I've got my little Chris Dingle orange here, which actually my year we made 159 of them. Even though the marshmallows have gelatin in so I can't eat them, and I'm not a big fan of licorice and I don't really like ice, icing sugar, so I none of the sweets are really... <laughs> <laughs> um, I might eat the orange. Maybe Thank I'll eat you. the orange. Yeah, we're stuck in traffic at the moment because everyone's coming out of the church. Well, and there's four-way traffic kind of up, well known. Yeah, we're going to the park to meet my cousin, cousins there, and my... So are Max and Miles cousins once removed? No, not related to you. At all. But so this is Alfie, the birthday boy. 13. And... Alfie actually has a YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, it's called Alf Dippers, A L F D I P P E. Wait, you have to get... yeah. <laughs> about 2,000. You have 2,000. After the party thing, we went to Mini Waitrose to get some groceries, and then when I got home, I did some editing. Because I do a filmmaking course every Monday after school, and we are given one word, and then we've got to make a film about it over the next week. And this week, the theme was Christmas. So it is here that I think I'm going to have to round up the vlog. Um, I've never properly vlogged before, so I'm not sure how successful this is. And please do tell me whether it's the kind of thing you like to see and something you think I should do again, or whether it's something that doesn't really work too well. Thank you for watching and have a productive week.